So as we discussed in the previous video, my hair is in a real bad state. And that's the reason I had to make some major changes in my personal hair care routine. Plus the winter is here, so the routine had to be adjusted a little anyway. And therefore, here I am with the latest hair care routine as of December 2021. Welcome aboard, Alpha. Now the major change I've made is in the oiling department. And before now, I used to apply oil to my scalp along with the length only when I washed it. Because the days were warmer back then which already made me sweat a lot. And applying more oil in that situation would have only resulted in a huge mess over the head. But nowadays the weather is getting colder which allows me to perform the oiling action to the hair multiple times after a wash before I wash it again. And although it is not every day that I apply oil to the hair, my hair care routine goes like this. I apply oil to both the scalp and the hair length, emphasizing on the hair ends. On the day I wash my hair, nothing happens on the day after, but the same procedure is followed on the second day of wash, but with a little less amount of oil this time. And then, because I wash my hair on the fourth day, I apply a lot of oil to the scalp on the night of the third day before going to bed so that the oil has got all night to do its job on the scalp. And I don't need to worry about my hair being oily and greasy because I was going to wash it the next day anyways. Plus applying oil at night sort of forces me to wash my hair on time because it's gonna look too messed up otherwise. And if I somehow forget to apply oil to the scalp the night before, I just apply it 1-2 to two hours before I wash my hair. But to wash it, I've been using the Beardo Anti-Hair Fall Shampoo. And the thing I've got to say about this one is that it's got absolutely no effect on the hair fall rate. It does not increase or decrease the hair fall in any way. But it is a really nice sulfate free shampoo that leaves the hair feeling really soft and smooth to touch. Unlike some other ones that make the hair feel a little sticky after the wash. And do let me know if you guys want to see a full fledged review video on this thing. But in the last video I asked you guys to enlighten me about some anti dandruff solutions. Some of you awesome people told me about the Selson shampoo, while the others told me about Ketoconazole shampoo. And luckily, I found one on Man Matters website that does contain this as an ingredient. But unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on it before making this video. But I'll be making another video regarding the shampoo and how effective it is against dandruff shortly. But in the meantime, you guys are most welcome to subscribe to the channel and join the Alpha Army Discord server linked in the description. And a like to this video will also be equally appreciated. But for the oiling purpose, I am still using the Ustra Ayurvedic hair oil as I find this one to be a really good hair oil as it's got all the essential items paired with a really lightweight texture and therefore I ain't got any reasons to switch it. But for the hair mask that I applied the night before I wash my hair, I use coconut oil. And as we discussed earlier, for the shampoo, I've been using the Beardo Anti Hair Fall, which is soon to be swept for the Man Matters Anti Dandruff one. And right now, I do not apply any hair serum, but if I were to apply it someday, it'd be this Matrix Biolage Serum. I haven't used it too much yet, as you can see, it is almost full, but it does leave the hair really silky and smooth. And that is what my current hair care routine looks like as of December 2021. But if you learned something new or interesting out of watching it, a like to this video and a sub to the channel will be really appreciated. And the channel discord server is linked in the description waiting for you to join. And with that being said, I'll see you around, Alpha.